So this is called a standoff technique. Now we're gonna show it to you on the wrist because it works well here, but actually it also works very well for lots of small joints in the hand uh, and in the foot. It's particularly useful where you've got um, quite clear bony contours and what the gel does is it fills in those contours to allow good contact between uh, with, with the probe to ensure that you get a good image. So what we've done here, and obviously you need to use sterile gel, but what we've done here is we've built up the gel um, on the probe and this is called standoff. So what you can see is, and this is why it's called standoff, you can see the gel in the image. Um, and obviously this is the target here. So you can see the articular cartilage. So what you can do, and again, obviously it has to be sterile gel, is you can actually put the needle in and you can see the needle and the needle tip in the gel. Now that's got a few advantages, but one of the main advantages is you know what trajectory you're going into when you're about to pass through the skin. So you can see where the cursor is and that will allow you to make sure that as you go in at a certain angle, you know you're gonna to get to your target tissue. But it also means that the joint is more uh, open uh, so you can get the uh, injection in a little bit easier um, and often makes the whole procedure less painful for the patient. So as we go through, you can ensure that you're at the right angle so you can see the needle there and that will go in at the right angle and you can just pierce the skin.